welcome back to you on my channel. Today I am going to sit down and give you my first impressions on a product that I just picked up. I've been forever curious about all of these magnetic lashes that you see out there now. And for any of you that know me or have followed me for any time, I don't typically wear false lashes. I've only worn them for my wedding day and a couple of Halloweens for some costumes. And that was like way, way, way back when. And I just, I don't like fiddling with the glue. I don't find them comfortable. I generally have to trim them because they're too long or they like stab my um, lash line or my eyelids and stuff. I just, I do not enjoy them. And I actually have a really amazing natural lashes, which I'm so, so, so thankful for. But I mean, you can't tell right now by looking at them because there's no mascara on them. Uh, but when I do put mascara on, they're really nice and long and I can, if I use the right mascara, I can get quite a bunch of volume, but naturally they are very fine and very, very light. And I do need mascara in order for you to see them. But like I said, once I put that on, they're actually pretty awesome and I wouldn't trade them for the world. And that's one of the reasons that I don't use false lashes because I don't want the glue to get stuck in them, pull them out, anything like that. I don't want to mess with my natural lashes. So it makes me extra curious about all of these magnetic lashes that are out there and I wanted to try some. I've watched a ton of reviews. I've seen reviews on all of the Ardell magnetic lashes and none of the reviews have actually ever been all that favorable. But when I was at the store, I saw these Kiss lashes and I haven't actually seen any reviews on these. These are the magnetic lashes from Kiss in the style KEML01. These were the more natural of the two that they had in the store. The other ones were a little bit more full and fluffy, but I didn't want anything super, super crazy. I just wanted something that's going to give my natural lashes a little bit of a boost and a little more oomph when I want either a more dramatic look or just something to amp up more of a no makeup makeup look sort of thing. So I'm gonna give these a try. I have not opened them as you can see. I haven't touched them other than to just pick up this package. And we are going to go through the whole application process and see just how simple it is and if they work and what they look like. I picked these ones because also in comparing them to what the Ardell lashes look like, they didn't seem as cumbersome. Let's put it that way. The lash band is a little bit shorter. The lashes themselves are a little bit more lightweight looking and this band has three magnets versus the Ardell ones, they had like four four. So again, they were a little bit longer and any of the reviews that I've seen, everybody always complains about the Ardell ones either being too long or the magnetics, magnets not being strong enough and that middle one kind of popping on the inner corner and not staying down and staying put. So I'm hoping that with a shorter band, it's not going to be as difficult to stay stuck on the inner corner. So We'll see. <laughs> so it comes with this easy load applicator and a rotating applicator for instant flawless fit. Hmm. We'll see. Pre-curved, no adhesive needed and reusable, natural and comfortable, lightweight bottom lash. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. The other reason that I picked this is, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the bottom lash is slightly less full and has less lashes than the top lash. All of the other ones, the bottom and top were pretty much exactly the same and I didn't want anything super big and cumbersome underneath of my lashes. So this actually really spoke to me with it being a smaller lash on the bottom versus the top. So here's the 
back with the instructions. Rotate the applicator to load the top and bottom magnetic lashes. Note, place magnetic lashes along the inner edge of each applicator curve. Both lashes should curve upwards. Step two, rotate the applicator back to its original position. Step three, place applicator so your natural lashes are in between the two magnetic lashes. Press down on applicator to connect the magnetic strips and release applicator. To remove, remove with your thumb and index finger, slide magnetic, strip, magnetic strips horizontally apart to release the magnetic seal. It, it sounds simple enough, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I've seen people struggle with these and it's not as simple as they make it appear. We've got the outer packaging off. We've got all the components. This, oh, I see what they mean by the applicator. Rotates. So you load the lashes with it like this and then once the lashes are on, you rotate it like that and then, okay. It seems simple enough. See how these feel? They feel fine. They feel like nothing, really. I don't know if it matters which eye goes on what. Let's do it. This is the right eye. This is the left eye. Wow, these are really stuck on here. Okay, there we go. So there's the bottom lash. And they need to be pointing. <laughs> what did I say? So it's gonna go on my eye like this. So it needs to be pointing up. Ooh! Wow. I really just like. And then top. I'm trying to be really careful because I don't know how like fragile these are either. And they really want to stick back to the original packaging. Pretty decent strength magnets, I gotta say. Okay, top. There. That's that's not right. That's gonna poke me in the eye. I'm gonna turn these puppies around this way. What the heck? <laughs> okay, so they're gonna go like. They're gonna sit on my eye like this. Then they have to be like this on the applicator. There, there. Except it says both pointing up. These need to be the other way around. All right, because I put them on backwards. <laughs> I think I've got these situated on here properly. So they're both pointing upwards. These are for the right eye. So I'm going to rotate this and hope they don't stick together. Oh, this one, hope they don't stick together. Okay. And now for the moment of truth. Got my mirror nice and close up. How the heck do you get your natural lashes in between? Oh, this feels so weird. Ah, <laughs> there's gonna be a better way to do this. Um, maybe if I curl my lashes first, might help too. I'm not gonna do an extreme curl, just a nice kind of gentle curl. Let's try this again. Go from underneath. Ah! <laughs> if I go from the side here like this. Oh, I'm trying not to blink. Oh, I heard something. Those are not, I mean. <laughs> no, I don't know if I like the applicator. Let's see here. There's got to be, cause they're not, let's bring you guys in closer. They are not, um, at the base of my natural lashes and I've got them too far that way. Oh, that's ridiculous. Let's see, how do you pull these? Ah! 
What, those, the magnets are strong, man. So it's to pull apart. Yeah, how do you do that? I've also got nails, so that doesn't help. Oh, there we go. No, except it came off in one piece instead of, okay. Let's try separate these bad boys. If I could, I would. Okay, there we go. Let's try just putting the top lash where it needs to be. That's not gonna work. Maybe you have to have the applicator. Holy crap. <laughs> that is freaky as hell. They really just like, you know, I don't see a way to do it without the applicator, but I can't get the applicator close enough to the base of my lashes. I need some of that magnetic eyeliner, man. I think I'm already ruining the lashes. Kind of not as nicely placed where I've been grabbing them. They're bent. Okay, top lash is on. Bottom lash is on. Rotate. Yeah, see, I've already bent the lashes there where I've been trying to take them apart. Because they're really, really strong magnets, actually. even worse than the first attempt. I feel like when I take them off, I'm going to pull out my lashes. I don't see a way to get these apart without like bending the lashes. Third time's a charm, right? I bet you these would work amazing with that uh, magnetic eyeliner. Okay. Oh, see, I did lose an eyelash. Damn it! <laughs> oh, something touched my eyeball. No, I just feel like I can't get them close enough to the root, like the base of my eyelashes. Like if this was here, it wouldn't be so horrible. I don't know guys. I think without, ow! <laughs> Pretty sure that's pulling my eyelashes out. If I could get it closer to the base, like here on my corner, I think it would work. Like it looks like a decent lash, I mean, other than the fact that it just kind of stops, but I don't see how these would work. I only see these working with the magnetic eyeliner. And I don't even know if that stuff is legit. I'm really curious about it, don't get me wrong. You can't blink when you're trying to put them on <clears throat> without the applicator, even with the applicator. You, you can't blink, which do you have any idea how hard it is not to blink when you're like sticking stuff near your eyeball? Nope, not even close. I was trying to just do just the outer and then try and sandwich the inner separately. And I blinked. So now the lash isn't where it should be.
not even close. So like my first attempt was the best. But even my first attempt sucked. Okay, one more try. I wonder if I do it so that they're kind of half sticking off. I wonder if that would help positioning it better. It's certainly easier to get them onto the applicator that way. Okay, well I got the inner corner good that way, but not the outer corner. <laughs> but that's like really, really good for the inner. I mean, I gotta say, once these things are together, they are together and they are difficult to pry apart. Bottom lash is situated. Top lash is situated. They are on the applicator. They are not sticking together yet. I'm going to slide this over. Not blink. Ah! Except something is stabbing my eye. Okay, I think that is the best attempt yet. However, they are definitely not at the base of my eyelashes. Like, I don't know if you can see, but there is a significant gap. It's probably a good two, three millimeters. But I mean, that's situated the best so far. I'm gonna try it again with it on the full length of the applicator instead of half off. I mean, I'm getting better at applying them onto the applicator, I will say that. Nope. See, it's either like one corner or the other when I do it on the whole applicator. I can't seem to get both corners down where they need to be. But I'm like bound and determined to make these things work. And they just look like they're not actually curved enough now. I mean, I've got them as close as they've ever been, but it just looks like it's going straight across. It doesn't look like it's curved, if you know what I mean. Maybe the less magnet isn't the best. And I mean, technically these are shorter than my actual lash line. But I mean, I would put mascara on with them so that my lashes on either side would kind of blend in and you wouldn't see just the falsies. I'm gonna try it. I'm playing it half on again. I feel like I had it, but then when I went to go take the applicator away, it pulled it. Now there's no guarantee that I did have it. <sighs> My eyes are now watering and I've been doing this for like 45 minutes. And I am no closer now than my first attempt, which I still say my first attempt was um, the best one. Guess what, guys? The middle magnet is gone. The middle magnet is probably still attached to this one. Yeah, there it is. So, yeah. Oh, and now I've dropped it. I don't know how many times you're gonna be able to, if you ever get them to work, I don't know how many times you would be able to use these without something like that happening. And 
Now I've dropped the magnet again and no idea where it is now. I'm gonna say that these are a definite no dice, which is a shame. And that was the top lash that lost the magnet. So even if I had magnetic eyeliner now, that top lash is not going to work. Can you guys see that? It's missing now. Where is this one still? There. So you can see that little square. Oh, and this our rectangle, sorry. And then this one does not have that now. So there you go. Do not waste your time and money. It doesn't matter what they look like. I'm gonna say no. However, eventually I'm sure one day I will get the magnetic um, eyeliner and I can try these with that. And I mean, I could probably use the bottom lashes as like kind of like a demi wispy sort of thing because they'll still have all three. I don't know. I would try the one without the middle magnet now, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna say no. I don't know how on earth you would be able to make these things work just as is. We'll see if I get some magnetic eyeliner and if they work with that, then maybe it won't be a complete waste, but as is, as they are in the packaging, for me anyways, didn't work you saw the struggle and um i'm not super adept at putting on regular lashes with glue and all of that but it doesn't take me 45 minutes to do that i can do that much quicker than this so i don't know <laughs> i had to try it out for myself and uh, let me know if you guys have had any luck with any of these magnetic lashes of any sort. I'm still super curious about the magnetic eyeliner. So if you've tried that yourself, hit me up in the comments below and let me know. And maybe that will be the saving grace for these. And maybe not, maybe the whole magnet thing just doesn't work. I don't know. I still have hope though. So let me know if you've tried these and any other magnetic lashes, which ones work for you, which ones absolutely definitely don't work for you. Do you have a trick to making these work? Let me know and let me know what you think of this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, evening, weekend, week, whatever it is, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this and I will see you again soon. Bye.